Hello, welcome back to Gender Sushi Life Noting. Um, today I will be doing an improvisation um, of how to create something like this, the plasma ball. Um, I always wanted to create something like that, but uh, it has a lot of underneath complexity. So I'm just I'm just gonna be showing you the basic. I will be using the Pulga physics, uh, Pulga physics of Spiritual. Um, Pulga plasma. Okay, so this thing can be kind of tricky because because you can always you cannot always see the the force, right? You, you but you you can kind of get the idea. You have a single source in the center, and you can you want to kind of connect that point with others. Um, so we can start with a initial positions. And in this case, I will be using attractors, and that's the one that's gonna be doing the hard job. There's nothing else we can, uh, uh, nothing else we gonna use in this case, just the attractors. And the attractor itself, we can start with just like uh, and gone. And gone. If you look at the viewer, is looking something like this. So it's a by default, it's five points, and you can play around with the points. You can randomize it a little bit, so you can have different distance uh, between uh, the points to the center. And you also have this single point, right? For for the end goal, it's gonna be our attractors, and I will increase the size of this guy. So make it 10 and maybe give it red color for for now we're gonna just look at the result so let's see if we can see anything different if we play around with the attraction attractor forces and if I play around with the randomization, so you can't really see anything interesting. Density, nothing seems to be working. Oh, probably I need to increase the iteration. Yeah, still, still nothing much. So it seems like this guy is not attracted to anything. Let me try, however, with the iterations. I will be using range integer and make it a 10. Plug this into the iterations. So, And maybe have 100. So we have actually 100 points, 100 vertices here. Um, oh, I didn't plug in the attractors. All right, so I'm sorry about that. So now let me try and see. Now you can already see with the if I use one a count of one, and then I only have a single point. But as I, but as I increase the iteration, so Basically here, what's gonna happen here is the, the Pulga physics will generate 100 iterations, kind of like from iteration zero to iteration 100. Obviously, because we enable attractors and we are using the Angon, the point will be attracted to one of these points. So if I increase the iteration, you can see it goes there, okay, because that's probably the closest. If I'm using multiple iterations and getting 100 iterations, in this case, maybe I start from one, okay. One to one, count 100, so we have truly have 100 iterations. We should start to see something interesting happening Especially if I start to play around with the clam and things like that. 
Max Philosophy. Uh, yeah, we get a lot of things to play with. Um, so with the end goal, we can try increase the value and randomize the seed. Now you can see it, it's attracted into a single point. Okay, so that's a that's important. That's the first step in order to make something like this. Um, there is this option called initial velocity. Maybe for initial velocity, we can use random vector and make it maybe twenty for start. Um, we are not getting any result because we probably need to have multiple source as well. Make it 20, maybe unwrap it. So now we have 2,000 vertices over here. Um, that's quite a lot. But we are not getting variation somehow. Maybe I need to do something else. So it's kind of slightly tricky. 30 years. Now if I'm playing around with the maximum velocity, it's starting to make a different result. Let me try. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go there yet. Start count range. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Level to unwrap number 10. Okay. 10 here. Okay. Randomize the seed. the density radius okay starting to see something interesting let's move to our attraction forces attraction clamp yeah I think we need to play around with this setting but now it's working as I want it okay so we started with it we started with a single coin let me explain and then here I repeat the list so we have 10 starting points 10 initial initial positions we have 100 iterations for each of those starting point and they're gonna be attracted into these uh, points that we supply and then we have these attractors ah we have this uh, random vector as initial velocity okay so i think this number need to match this random vector and initial position so we can have 5, 10, any number for the, our plasma. So n gone is cool, but maybe, maybe we want to use something else. This somehow it works as if we increase the radius. So it's kind of interesting. Let's try using random vector as a tractor and make it 20 for a start scale it now okay then kind of get it it's looking better and randomize further 
this guy. So I'm randomizing the position of our attractors. But uh, for plasma, usually for plasma, we, we, we just need those points to make a kind, some kind of sphere. All right. Can randomize the position. Reduce the number. So, um, yeah, so we have a lot of random points and then we have 20 plasma. Okay, so at this point, we have total of 100 points. We can use UV connections, I believe. This will make the connections that we want. Turn off the points. So now they're just going to be like lines. If we separate the lines, we should have 10 different lines. Oh, we have 20 of them. 20. Because we have 20, yeah, 20 points. Okay. So this is good. This is good because we have everything under control. If you want to use polyline viewer, you want to use curve, you can you can do that. So you you know the drill at this point. So there now we have an actual thing that we can render. So this is the basic idea, right? Here we have like branches, but branches is the another complexity that we don't want to touch at the moment. We just want to get the idea. The simplest thing we can do this sort of thing. And this is kind of like physically correct. I believe this is phys uh, physically correct because we are we are using uh, Pulga physics. We are using physics. We are not just making random lines connecting. So we can play around with the clamping of the force, the decay of the force. The force needs to decay somehow. Uh, and the density is, density is interesting. I don't know. Play around with it. So we need some kind of attraction force. The clamps seems to have a lot of effects. I remember also playing around with the radius. The radius have some effects to the actual result. Small value, no. Bigger value, effects. Kind of interesting. Increase the scale, so the plasma can be, the plasma sphere can be smaller or bigger, like that. And then you can randomize it, randomize the points basically, or just randomize the the starting starting initial velocity. Um, iterations you can have less less point or more points. One hundred is good number for now. So yeah, that's simply thanks to this node, Pulga physics, and by supplying just random value nodes, we can have this kind of plasma plasma ball kind of setup maybe you can improve this I'm pretty sure um, but yeah so the result can be this blind you can uh, play around with the radius and whatnot but uh, I did play around with this earlier and I got a lot of different results something like this you know it's the same setup basically, but uh, I'm using different value and then maybe different scaling. But the same, it's the same thing. So if I get rid of that, so we, we have basically just a sphere. If wanna, I want to have like a bunch of points, now we have this Suzanne with all interconnected lines. It's almost like the matrix. We have also 100 iteration in this case, and reduce the number of increase or decrease that. Um, you can always resample the lines. So at this point, we have 50 points. You can resample it and make some kind of randomizations to the line. 
you can do that manually. So this is more like kind of like a quick fake randomization. Uh, you can have random seed for each one of them. So we have 50, so we want to have 50 different random. Now it's a little bit more natural. Yeah, so let me try to find different result. Pulver influence, pulver plasma. Here. Okay. Oh yeah, this is how I started. But yeah, um, back to our setup. File save as. Maybe with this demo, I will just be using the green. So, yeah, play around with the pulga physics. See, like I said, it's like I said, this is kind of maybe hard to imagine, but now it's now that we can visualize the force thanks to the pulga physics, the force of the attractors, we can really start to tweak and get uh, the result that we want. Density have very interesting result. Um, if you want something even cooler, you can look at the Pulga physics example. There is one of them that's kind of using the Pulga physics, and then instead of bunch of circle, it's using bunch of circ uh, Instead of using bunch of dots, like what we are doing here, it's using circle. So you get you get like kind of like a hair, like a wave that kind of goes around the circle. That's really very, very interesting. But yeah, this is what we have so far. Randomize the velocity, initial velocity give you that. Randomize, randomize the, the points of the, where the finger might touch this plasma ball. That's also, yeah. I think this is the basic idea anyway. Um, for now, I'll just gonna leave it like this. So this is plasma basic. It's not yet completely plasma balls, but you can improve it. Hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.